the every company has to decide whether it is just a local and domestic company uh, devoted to making the consumers and the business people in the, their country happier, or uh, considering whether they should actually go abroad. And my feeling is that any company with real ambition will know that there are as many people, many more people abroad than at home to buy their products. If they have an international mindset, uh, the answer is they will be um, shaping their products and their prices and their channels of distribution separately for each country they go into. In fact, if you're going to operate in more than your own country, you're going to have to have different versions of the features in your product and the, and the channels that you're going to go after. I like an international mindset, but most companies never start out with, with that. They, they want to establish that they are a leader in the country they're in and then begin to think about not being in every other country, but which is the next best country to go. So if you're in Italy successfully, I think Germany is going to be a very natural one to go. And then after Germany, France, maybe not even going, thinking about Asia or South Africa or anything. It's a, it's a developmental process going international. If uh, we're talking about consumers going to buy a product in a what we call a store, um, we're talking about a very changing world where, uh, in the case of many shoppers, they can get what they want from Amazon or some other company without ever going into a store. Um, and then getting it at home, shipped to them, and then returning it if it isn't satisfying. So the question is a hard one for stores to cope with. They must really try to be both available in the store and available by internet. I, I think any store that only depends on customers walking in We'll face another problem. Many customers walking into a store will want to feel the product and test it, and when they decide they like it, they don't buy it in the store. They either order it in, on the internet or order it from a, com a competitor. So there is a crisis in retailing now, and the only, the major answer is every retailer, number one, should have both online and in-store, and secondly, the in-store experience must be made special.